Hey guys, World Eater here. Today we're going to be going over an issue that's in the game that's been around for quite a while. Um, it hovers more around free to players, but it also is still a problem with some pay to players, and that problem is going to be gold. Gold is honestly very, very annoying right now in September 2022 for Bit Heroes Quest. Um, I really hope they do something to fix it sometime soon. Um, other than the gold, I believe maybe guild would be another issue, but that is a whole other video. So let's go ahead and get started with the gold. For the gold, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you how you guys could save gold and actually use less gold. So let's go ahead and go to the shop so I can start off with one tip very quick. For my first tip, I recommend taking advantage of these flash sales. Now, of course, you're not going to buy these 200 gem major speed kicks. But if you see the common boost here and you see it for 20% off the gold, get 50 of them if you can. Get as many of those as you can. You're going to want to go here to boosts and you can see them here if they're discounted. So you can go down here where it says times one and you can hit 50 and you can buy 50 of these. Now, if it was 50 of anything but the speed kicks, I would have been down any of the greens, of course. And that goes to my next tip. Do not, and I repeat, do not buy any speed boosting boosts unless it comes with something else. You don't want to buy anything that gives you movement speed because at the end of the day, unless you're really hyper focusing a lot of stuff it is not worth it and usually you're going to be pairing it with something. so do not buy these minor speed kicks these average speed kicks or these major speed kicks in my opinion they are a huge waste of gold they'll stack up let's say you do 50 of these that's going to be 250,000 gold base price of course but that is extreme do I use them in my videos? Sometimes I do, but it's only to speed up the video. Do I recommend it for anyone else? No, I do not. Speed kicks are honestly the biggest waste of gold in the game that almost everyone does for some reason. They always buy these, and I highly recommend against them. But anyways, back to the first part. If you see these on sale, get them in bulk. Get as many as you can because you're going to be popping these boosts daily. And I know it's going to do a huge drop in your gold, but trust me, it's worth it. You're going to want to stack up on item find, experience, and gold. Now, if I could say that you can do without one of these three, believe it or not, I would probably say maybe item find or experience. If you really just wanted to focus on just playing the game normally and just wait until you stack up a bunch of stuff, then you could just essentially just do the gold potion. But... I don't recommend that. I always recommend stacking these three or at least gold and experience at the very least. So always avoid speed kicks. That's going to be my first tip and buy in bulk when flash shell is around or the gold boost, of course. Now for other things you're going to want to do, this is going to be in your settings. We're going to go down to the settings. Okay, let's go ahead and go down to anything that involves gold. So here. Auto persuade with gold. I have this on because right now I'm trying to get new familiars from the new zone, but I recommend having all of this off, all of it off. The only time you're going to want to have this on is if you know you're trying to bribe as many epic familiars as possible in, let's say, a regular dungeon where you're trying to get, get blubber, let's say. Then you'll have all of this off except for auto persuade with gold for epics. But I highly recommend, if you like actively playing this game and having it less on auto, than just having this off. But if you're going to auto and you want to get something a little rarer like these and you don't have the gems to bribe them or you don't want to bribe them, then leave it like this. This is perfect. I also recommend making sure auto bribe with gems is off. You only do this if you're super whale or if you know you're trying to only hunt gobbies and you want to put that legendary tick on. That's the only time you would do that, and I still don't recommend that at all. I recommend highly against it, so always have this off. Decline duplicate familiars. Now this is a big one. If you're going to be farming a zone where you already have like, I don't know, let's go ahead and take a look at my familiars. Where you have 151 Baumos, or 128 Juice, or even something as absurd as 272 Stumpies. And don't even get me started with this guy. I can't even pronounce his name. When you have a situation like this, or even something like, I'd say, 27. 27 to me is a good amount. Maybe 30. If you're around there on the familiars for the area you're actively farming, 
then you're going to want to go ahead and activate decline duplicate familiars for whatever you have too much of let's say you have all the rares and familiars and the flag that you're or the dungeon you're constantly farming over and over and over again and you're only farming it to get epics then you can leave decline duplicate familiars on have these two checked and just leave these off i don't think there's any myth that you can do right now currently in the game so i don't even know why that's an option but yeah you're pretty much going to just leave these two off that way you can go ahead and see if you want to bribe them persuade them if you have the gold now again this doesn't really save you gold if you don't have this on anyways so it's fine but if you do have these checked you could always just leave this on that way it doesn't get them anyway so that's pretty much what i recommend there for the settings on that now there are a bunch of other ways to save gold now for example let's go ahead and go to the smithy go to craft now if you see that you can make a bunch of these right you can just make a bunch right don't do it don't do it because look at this down here 1.5 million gold 1.5 million gold and that's only for epics right but where everyone likes to go is they like seeing this yellow here at the beginning of the game they're like oh yeah yellow i'm strong i have legendary stuff look at this 500k for one go to seven 3.5 million and that's just this major room look down here this one's 1 million this one's 1.5 million for one so you got to make sure that you absolutely need to craft them if you have a decent epic stay with the epic stack up your gold you know if your epic is good enough stack up your gold trust me because sometimes you'll spend money on this the gold of course and you'll be like yeah i got an awesome rune but you might get something you don't want like let's say you're a a tank right you're gonna want redirect you're gonna want core rune you're gonna want sometimes you might even want gale rune you might want some of these things but you don't want to get stuck with something like i don't know let's see here like this one, drain 100 SP, 100% SP from an opponent you defeat. That's pretty much like only good if you have like end game gear. This is going for the free to play average player that's mid to early game that doesn't really know how to save gold. So this is useful just about tanks and use any of these, who am I kidding? But let's say you're DPS, you're not going to want something like, like your opponent's first attack on you deals 25% reduced damage. Now that's useless. So you're not going to want to be crafting these willy nilly like crazy. You're going to want to be saving up, saving up all your gold like crazy. Because let's say you get enough to make a brain, which in my opinion is the best thing to craft in the game. The best craftable in the game is going to be the neuron stimulator. So the mythic one, of course, since you can actually craft it versus having to roll it in the shop. This is the best thing to craft in my opinion. So this takes two million. Yeah, two million. And that's not even the, the most expensive thing I wanted to talk about to you guys right now. So if you just go crazy on runes or on pumps or on something that you just genuinely don't need, you won't be able to afford stuff like this. And that's just talking about augments. Let's go on to something like accessory. Accessories take 10 million to random roll. 10 million to random roll. To hardcraft, that's 25 million. Now that's insane, trust me. Like, for a free to player, this is super hard to get to. On Nub Eater, my uh, YouTube uh, account, the one that I do all the playthroughs on, I can already make a mythic accessory, but I'm lacking the gold. And that's because I'm trying to take as much steps as possible to conserve my gold. But since I'm doing something on YouTube to show you guys a bunch of different possibilities, I have to spend more gold than the average player, which is unfortunate. I'm hovering around 2 million gold right now, but I'm getting closer and closer since I've pretty much gotten a lot of the stuff I need to show you guys on that account. Um, but this is what I'm talking about. 10 million gold, 25 million gold. I haven't even checked pets. See, pets are the same thing. And that's the thing. You just have to be very, very wary of how much you're going to be spending in the future. Let's go to mud. Mud is 2 million each enchant. You need six of these minimum just to fill up your enchants. And that's because you might want to have options. Like if you're a tank, you're going to want evade, block, damage reduction, stuff like that. Um, all of that stuff. So you're going to want to make sure you're very, very conservative with your gold. Very, very conservative. So always think about your wallet when you're playing in this. And that's just not going with gems or real money. That's going with gold too. Gold is very 
very, very hard to manage at the beginning of the game. So just please know that. I'm not entirely sure, but if I'm not mistaken, the best place to farm gold is going to be Expedition. If you defeat the gobbies in the dungeons there, they give you a lot of gold. So that's just a tip on where to farm some gold. I heard gobbies are a very good place to get gold. So anywhere that has a gobby is the best place to get gold in my opinion. From what I've heard at least, I haven't done too much extensive testing on gold. Since I already have a lot, it's not really something I'm too concerned about. But I might do a little more testing on that for you guys. But other than that, let's see what else you could save on gold. Hmm. I think that is probably it. Let's check. Let's check familiars one more time. Oh yes, infusions take gold as well. As you see here, 50k. So you just really have to understand that gold is just everywhere and you can't really obtain it too easily. You always, always, always at the minimum always want to have a minor gold potion on always even if you pop something like a cap gore or a, any kind of gore that doesn't have gold you're gonna want to pair it with that um consumable where's it at let me go to the store you're gonna want to pair it with this consumable some only have movement speed and item find you can pop this you got to make sure that it doesn't say it'll replace it okay because <laughs> it could replace a good boost if you pop this and it already came with gold fine so just make sure you don't overlap it but anyways that's pretty much going to be it if you guys have any more tips on saving gold any more tips on anything at all please leave them in the comments for the people watching this video um, i want to let out more, uh, give out more tips and tricks like this for free to plays because i feel like the more the more you know about conserving stuff, the better your uh, time you're going to have in the game. So just always save your gems, always save your gold, only spend on stuff that you know is good. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make a separate video for gems because that's its own beast in its entirety. But for now, this is all I'm going to be doing with gold. Please, please, I'm going to say it one more time. If you have any tips, please leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for stopping by. This was World Eater. Have a great one, guys. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,